Biafra agitator Simon Epa on Thursday accused the Nigerian government of scuttling the election of Peter Obi at the February 25 presidential poll. Obi, the candidate of the Labour Party, rejected the result and is now in court to challenge the victory of President elect Bola Tinubu of the All Progressives Congress APC. In a letter to the United General Assembly, Epa berated Information Minister Lai Mohamed for lying about the elections. He said the official has been junketing, telling lies and calling for a ban on all fundraising activities of the indigenous people of Biafra with threats of sanctions. But little did he say to the world, Peter Obi of the Labour Party won the presidential election and the government and its subservient electoral body declared the ruling APC candidate Tinubu winner. Epa noted that even the UN has admitted the general elections revealed ethnic religious demographic fault lines in Nigeria. The position, according to him, somehow captures the situation of Nigeria that needs urgent redress through a referendum. Epa said when Ubi's running mate Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed cited election irregularities, Mohammed, through his broadcasting commission, slammed a 5 million naira fine on the television station. On the election in Lagos State, the secessionist said Obi defeated Tinubu despite the disenfranchisement of Biafra people. Epa told the UN that killings are still going on, while the burning of homes, markets and churches is being perpetrated by government-sponsored terrorists and arsonists in state uniforms. On Eastern Security Network, he said, he said the group made up of volunteer indigenous youths was formed against state-sponsored terrorists, herdsmen and their accomplices in the military.